Hi, welcome to LinuxHelp.com. Today I am going to show installation of Debian 8.3 along with Lux Encrypted Home and Root Partitioning. First, you must download the Debian OS ISO file from the official website and make bootable DVD or USB drive. Then next you insert your bootable media into your system. After then you will get Debian installer boot menu screen like this. Now you just select install by using arrow keys. Just select install and hit enter. First you select your language. Then you select your location. And then next configure the keyboard language. Here I am choose American English. Now it's loading additional components. Next you just give continue for configure the network. Here now you can able to see configure the network wizard. Now I am choose do not configure the network at this time. Then next you give your host name. Then click continue. Next you set root password. Next you click continue. Then you re-enter your root password. Then click continue. Next you can able to see set up user and password wizard. Here you can create user and set password. Then set password. Then click continue. Then re-enter your password. Then click continue. And then next you can able to see partitioning disk wizard. Here you choose partitioning manually. Choose manual option. Next, you choose your hard disk. And then it asks create new empty partition. Just choose yes. Now your hard disk ready to partitioning. You just choose your hard disk. Next you can get partitioning disk. Here you choose create new partitioning. Just click enter. And then give your first disk size. I give 10 GB. Then click continue. Next you choose type for the new partitioning. I choosing primary. And then you choose beginning. Now you can able to see first partitioning details. Here you choose label. Then give root. Then click continue. And then change boot flag off to on. Finally click done setting up the partitioning. The first partitioning created successfully. Next we are going to create a encrypted partitioning. Just we choose configure encrypted volume. Just select and hit enter. Next it's ask a confirmation. You just click yes. Then you can get encryption configuration action. Just you choose create encrypted volume. Here you select your hard disk free space and then click continue. Now the encryption volume created successfully. Then click done setting up the partitioning. And then click choose yes for write changes to this disk. Next you click finish. Now it's ask confirmation for erase the data on SDA file. Just select yes. After data erasing you can get encryption phosphorus here you must enter your passphrase and then click continue and then again re-enter your passphrase and then click continue and then choose yes now the encrypted volume created successfully here you can able to see it now we can create logical volume for home and where just you choose Configure the logical volume manager, hit enter and then choose yes for configure the LVM. Now you can get LVM configuration wizard. Here you choose create volume group. Next you enter your volume group name. You just give LV group. And then click continue. Next you select the device 
for a new LVM group. Select and click continue. After group creation, next you create a logical volume. Just select logical volume and then hit enter. Here you can able to see your logical group name. Then click it and then choose logical volume name. Then click continue and then logical volume size. Here I give 2 GB for home and then I create another logical volume for where. Here I give 2 GB and then click continue. After logical volume creation, you must give finish. Just select and hit enter. Next, configure the LVM settings. Just choose and then click enter and then choose users do not use. Just click enter and then choose ext4 journal file system and then click mount point choose home and next click setting up the partition and then again you configure the LVM partition for where partitioning just select where LVM and then choose users use ext4 journal file system then click mount point use where and then click done setting up the partition now the partitioning process is completed next you must give finish the partitioning right changes to the disk just select and hit enter next you will get return to partitioning menu confirmation if you want alter any process you just choose yes otherwise you give no i select no and then click continue now the installation is starting now it's ask additional cd for package manager just you click no and then again click no and then again you click no next you will can get software selection wizard here you choose your default software now i choose Nivian desktop and print server and standard system utilities and then click continue next you can get install the grub bootloader page just you click yes choose your hard disk and then click enter now the installation is finished now it's ask reboot your system just give continue after restart it ask fast phrase just you give your valid fast phrase then click enter after booting you can get user login page just enter your user password now the user login is successfully and then i am sure to automatically unlock and mount the encrypted home and where partitioning during the system boot up you must log in with the root user here you can see i am login with the root user and then next create protect key on root partitioning just using following commands just type dd space if equal to slash random of equal to script key space bs equal to 512 space count equal to 1 now the crypt key is created successfully after key created you must open and edit crypt tab file by using nano editor slash etc slash crypt tab after open 
you just replace the word none to absolute key path just edit slash root slash crypt key and save and exit the crypt key file path is saved successfully next add the key to encrypt at looks device just type crypt setup space looks add key space slash dev slash sda file space slash root slash crypt key then hit enter now it's ask any fast phrase key just you choose one and then click enter next looks dumping just type crypt setup then looks dump space slash dev slash sd sda file now the key is set successfully on the next boot process the encrypted partition will be automatically unlocked and mounted with this key now you can store all sensitive data in slash home and slash var partitioning now your data is highly secured i hope in this video will help to you understand the concept of installing debian 8.3 with looks encrypted partitioning thank you for watching